So everyone wants to waterproof their phone, but they don't really necessarily like the book. What we're taking a look at here is HDO's technology, and maybe you can walk us through how this waterproofing works, because it's unlike anything that most people have ever seen, because it's, it's nano coating and it's on the inside of the phone yes. as opposed to outside. Yes. How does it work? So the nano coating is applied only to the internal circuitry of the device, so right. it provides an actual physical barrier that you can't see between the water and the internal components. Right. So it doesn't corrode, it doesn't short circuit when I right. do things like this and stick the phone in the water. Right. Right. So you guys have retrofitted this iPhone 5, and right now it's actually playing music through the speaker over here? Yes. So how is it that you can even play and plug stuff in while it's, it's submerged? <laughs> Because our coating doesn't block any of the speaker ports, uh -huh. it doesn't block the charger, everything is coated just on the internal components back here. Okay. So, like I have a phone, for example, we take the back off of this phone right. and I can even put it in the water. So, it doesn't matter. I'm not, you know, all you can see the ports right here are open, right. that's open. So, that's good because I can unplug and plug in a headphone jack a hundred times and no coating is going to wear off. There's nothing that's going to affect that coating because it's only on the inside. Right. So. so even though these are demo devices, this technology, the nano coating, is actually coming to real world things that people can buy. Yes, absolutely. Right? So. Um, our first two devices will be coming out here really soon. Right. We have. This is a compass? military compass from uh -huh. Navalite. Yep. This is going to be distributed to all sorts of military, per military personnel or those people who are outdoorsy types that right. want something like this. Um, also a tag hewer, uh, high-end smartphone will be coming out here really soon as well. So. so like at the end of the day, how much do you think consumers are going to pay extra for their phones? How much more is this going to add to the cost? Of devices. It depends on a device to, to device basis, right. but as far as phone damage goes, water damage is the second highest problem you see in phones besides actually just dropping your phone on the floor and breaking it. Right. So as far as research goes, I think I've talked to many people that said I'd be willing to pay two, three hundred dollars just to get this on my phone because I've sure. dropped it in the toilet twice. So. Right. Okay, so pretty soon we won't have to worry about it. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, thanks for the demo. Yes, this is welcome. Mark Spoonauer with at Laptop at CES 2013.